this started out with the notion of time, believe it or not, that most people reference time in past, present, and future. And people who have the ability to look into the future, what they tend to see is they tend to see events that are waiting to come into our present. So uh, it's not always easy to tell exactly how far away they are because they're not separated that way, uh, but sometimes they get clues from dress and age of people, things of that nature. So we talk about how if those events are out there, one way to think about is that they are stacked up out there. So who's in charge of the line of events? Well, for want of a better word, let's call them the stackers. That's where that terminology got started. So what the stackers do, because they have no concern at all with earthly reality, they're spiritual allies. And their job is to bring in events that are similar to events that we've had in the past because they know that those events will serve us in our spiritual growth. So let's say you had a time when you were growing up and you were bullied a lot in kindergarten or in uh, grade school. And so you internalize that and you judge those people who were bullying you. So you now have judgment in your consciousness having to do with bullies. So in growing up, you would take that that's present in your consciousness and start translating it into the reality that you grow into at each successive age level. So what you would find is that people would periodically show up in your life, sometimes uh, spaced apart, sometimes rather close together, sometimes more than one at a time, who you would perceive as bullying you. In their perception, they may or may not be doing that, but you would define them that way and you would judge them. And then that would match that dynamic that you had internalized in consciousness back then. The spiritual opportunity, once you understand that dynamic, and that's why the spiritual context is so important, once you understand that dynamic, you start looking at the things that show up in your life that on the earthly reality may seem like stumbling blocks or may seem like negative people or may seem like negative situations, to consider the possibility that from a spiritual point of view, they are actually blessings because they provide you with the opportunity to face whatever that judgment is inside of your consciousness and release it. That's the whole concept of uh, stackers in a nutshell. So this is why we say in spiritual reality there's no mistakes, there's no people who shouldn't be there, there's nothing other than repeated opportunity for resolution of unresolved issues. And what's an unresolved issue? Anything that disturbs your peace. Anything regardless of how justified you may think it is. <laughs> That's right, even that one. <laughs> <laughs> and so the stackers, which is just the way we conceptualize this, are the ones whose job it is to make sure that we continually get those kinds of experiences so that we continually have the opportunity to heal them for the last time. Heal them for the last time. That's what spiritual psychology is all about. Your tire blows out. And this is the day, of course, you forgot your cell phone. And you have to pull over to the side of the road because you can't drive on three tires. And you have an important meeting that you have to go to. 
and you're going to be late. So this is your predicament. The stackers are watching very closely. <laughs> what do you do? If you have the kind of reaction where you go, oh, damn, damn this tired, I'm going to be late for the appointment, and you go into upset and disturbance, for which you're not prepared to take responsibility, the stackers simply watch all of this, and they turn to each other and they say, he's not getting it. <laughs> Stack up ten more. <laughs> Similar events. Or, let's suppose you go, wow, this is really interesting. Uh, I'm going to be late for my appointment. I don't have my cell phone. I have no idea what this is all about. Not a bad day today. I'm going to have to wait for a tow truck anyway. Why don't I just sit here in my car while I'm waiting and just send my loving energy to everyone who's driving along the freeway <laughs> <laughs> in either direction. What a great opportunity. The stackers are watching this. They go, hey, give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, take off 10. <laughs> so literally, by how we respond to everyday situations, we create our future. That's part of the power of this technology.